My name is John, and welcome to Hangar 37, where tonight I'm going to do the unboxing of the Freewing B-17 Flying Fortress. Okay. Uh, I hope you can see that. I'm doing this in a special color format. Don't know how it's going to turn out. It's called Deco Art. Kind of darkens, contrasts everything. So we'll give it a shot to see how it looks. Okay. That's on this. So okay. I am going to bring out my trusty plane stand. And hopefully that will be in focus for you. Okay. Instruction manual. This is made by Freewing. Freewing's pretty good. I will use this probably for screw sizes and uh, CG. Other than that, I don't use the manual so much. Okay, it looks like an aluminum wing spar. Yeah, let's get the wings out here. As is typical with the uh, free wing, paint job and decals are real nice. Foam looks really good. Uh, nylon hinges on both the ailerons and the flaps. And it's got a split flap here. It's going to be a nice looking plane, I think. Get everything out. Okay. Well, they got enough foam and, and tape on everything here. Everything seems to be very well protected. Once again, looks good. Very nice paint job. I've been waiting on this model for a little while. They've been out of stock for about six months. And uh, so they finally came in, I snatched one up. Okay, we got our bag of goodies. They got a nice little wrench in here. Uh, nice little screwdriver. With grips on it. With the uh, real fine uh, Phillips on it. Kind of nice. Okay, we'll just set those aside. And we got props. And epoxy, which I don't use. I use my own epoxy. I'll use my own epoxy. You get uh, three each, uh, right and left props, 
and the decals for them, so that's kind of cool. And we got our elevator. I'm sorry. And we got our rudder. Servo is in the uh, in the rudder, all nylon hinges again. Typical free wing. Looking good. Looking good. And now we got our elevator. Okay, this I, it, I'm seeing here that this has got foam and nylon hinges on. Kind of add double protection. Looking good. Painted. The back stops to the horns. The horns are painted. Nice job, free wing. Okay. And the aluminum wing strut. And let's see, we got the motors. Lots of foam on it. And lots and lots of wires. This is going to be fun. I'm not going to bore you with that. A lot of little foam balls on here. Built in retracts. Looking good. Looks like they're plastic composite with steel struts. Okay, put that one there. This is my first four engine model. Got a couple little dings on here. I will be going to Ace and matching up the paint for touch-ups. Inevitably, you're going to need them. I believe this is going to be the order on the wings. side. It looks like there's adhesive on the back. Um, I'll figure that out in the assembly video, which I'll do shortly. Okay, let's take a look at this there. Oh, nice and easy. Oh, nice. Very nice. Once I get the foam balls off. In the bombardier compartment, this is really nice. A little scratch on here, but no big deal. Uh, decals, awesome. Paint job, awesome. All right. There you go. That is it. So, let's do a quick walk around on this. All right, bags of goodies, the engines. We got a rudder, an elevator. 
and the main fuselage. Boy, that's looking pretty good, eh? I think this Art Deco is going to turn out pretty good. It's maybe not showing you the true color, but uh, it's a little bit more brown than I think what it's showing. It's a brownish green. Okay. Here we go. Once again, this is John from Hangar 37. I want to thank you for watching the unbox of the Freewing B-17 Flying Fortress. Watch for the assembly video coming soon. I wish all you pilots out there blue skies and calm winds.